Okay, wow, we just keep on having day after day of big excitement here at Ocean Builders. Uh, so we just put the uh, Seapod Eco model in the water just a few days ago. And we just did our online launch to the world now. We're actually open to the world for sale, finally, after all these years. And now what we're doing is we're taking the uh, tripod floating base model that we put in the water almost a year ago today. Uh, it's pretty much exactly a year. We're pulling it out because we want to learn from this and see how it has performed over the last year. We want to see the growth that has happened uh, of, uh, of coral, of uh, barnacles, and as well as the uh, we've been using an electric current to go through the steel to protect the steel from rusting, uh, but that also has the added benefit of pulling uh, calcium carbonate out of the water and bringing it onto the steel so it actually causes uh, there to be a like, protective layer around the steel. So we want to study that, we want to learn how to do it better, because we want pods that will last. Like my goal is to have pods that will last 100 years, so we don't have to replace things. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. That is, it's really big. Uh, this is two meters wider on every, uh, all of the outriggers or the pontoons are two meters wider. So this is actually quite a bit larger. Uh, this one, the tube, the outrigger tube are a smaller diameter. So we made up for that with the new model, making the diameter larger, but making them not as long. getting in there with the camera and taking a close look, seeing all the coral buildup that we have. So right now we're trying to take take this off and clear it off and see what we're uh, see what we're looking at here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Rudy's just saying, telling them to only take off the plants because we want to see what kind of coral growth we've had or, or what kind of uh, calcium deposits we've had over the last year. Um, a lot of people are worried about uh, steel rusting, but with the process we've been using, uh, we actually have a layer of calcium protecting the steel. and. Any areas that are uh, exposed to salt water, um, those areas specifically have uh, the electricity going through more easily, so then the uh, calcium gets attracted to that area, so it's kind of like self-healing uh, systems. So here you can see the, see the growth, lots of growth, and under that there's a good um, level of calcium underneath. You can see all the white is calcium. Okay, and now she's coming down. 
land. I guess they have to get the outer uh, rest supports.